Hey guys, um, hi, how you doing? Haven't done a video in a long time. And here we are, and we have Rochelle here this morning. She, um, she did everything right, she did. She sent in a consultation, she sent us her pictures, she gave us uh, a history of her hair. Um, she told me she used a product that she blow dried into her hair. So I wasn't really too concerned. Um, but now today she came in and of course I have to tell her that I'm not sure if her first gene of the curl is going to be successful. Okay. Because it's, it's not shrinking up. So, which tells me that either there's a lot of heat damage or there is something in her hair that may cause the curl to be weakened. Okay. So I had to sit her in my chair today and be very honest with her. And it made me feel bad because, you know, here she traveled all the way from Florida. Florida. <laughs> <laughs> and now I have to tell her that her first Gina curl may not be as successful as she wants it to be. Because let's go back with a little bit of history on chemicals and products and everything. So you have relaxers and they're making tons of money on relaxers and it was very professional and everybody's hair was looking good and then people started doing it in their kitchen and then the mother and the aunt and everybody started doing relaxers and everybody's hair started breaking off and now everybody went natural and now everybody's looking, you know, they went natural and they're trying, now all the companies that are using natural hair care products, they're all making tons and tons of money because everybody's natural and they're looking for the next best thing that's gonna soften their curls, make it easier to work with. Um, so all these companies are doing really good and if I had every single one of the products, I probably wouldn't be able to walk in my salon, okay? Because there's so many products, so much competition, and so many YouTubers and all that. We know all of that, what's going on now. So the newest craze right now in the black industry or tight coiled hair industry is color and keratin and Brazilian. And all these products that are out there that are telling you it's gonna make it easier for you to blow dry and just put it in your hair and blow dry it out and it'll straighten your hair and then the curls will come back. Well, guess what? It's not gonna happen. Our hair is made up of protein, collagen, and keratin, okay? All you natural ladies out there, look at all your products. And if it says keratin, protein, or collagen, do not put it in your hair. And if you're gonna put it in your hair, maybe you're gonna put it on the ends because your ends are fragile, they're breaking off, and you need some kind of strength to hold that hair together. But if you have no chemical in your hair and you keep putting protein on every week, you are gonna do an, over pro an overload of protein. And what's gonna happen is just gonna snap your hair, just like the finger waves and the scrunches years ago when they were putting the black gel on the hair. Then later on, what came out was the black gel. They used to wrap the hair with the black gel and then glue the weave onto that, that wrapped black gel dried hair. Underneath, your, the heat of your scalp was loosening up that black gel and then now it was breaking the hair. So all these different techniques through the years, I refuse to do them. I lost clients along the way, but I didn't care because I am about, you know, I, I'm about healthy hair care and that's what I'm about. And I've been here since day one, Jerry Curl days then scrunches the finger waves, then the wraps with the glued weave, and then blah, 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 we can keep going. But right now, all you natural ladies have to stay away from protein. You have to, because this is what's gonna happen, okay? Now she's here, and this is Rochelle, and Rochelle doesn't, she's, she's here today, and she's really excited about getting the Gina curl, but unfortunately, I cannot, sit here and tell her that she's gonna get what she's gonna expect to get because she will not. And maybe she will, maybe she won't, but I have to cover my butt because we don't know. Okay, so now you have this happening, okay? You have that. So now if you look and see where that starts, that starts about right here. So that means all of this hair has to be cut off, okay? I know you guys are like going, what? But yes, all this hair has to be cut off. Now you have her natural roots about three months because she hasn't been doing anything to her hair. But three months ago, she used a product in her hair. What was the name of it? One of the texture manageability system. The texture manageability system by who? Um, you know? Beautiful textures. Beautiful textures. So she used that in her hair. Now think about this. Her ends are dry, so they didn't take 
Okay, they revert it back because guess why? Why this curl reverted back? Because this hair is dry and it needed the protein. It needed it. So her curls came back. But this hair was healthy, natural hair. So what did it do? It straightened it and it took the curl back. And that curl is not going to bounce back because that hair did not need that keratin protein and collagen because it was already it already had enough of it in the hair okay this here reverted back this here of course we have to cut but this here it reverted back yeah okay so now let's go here now now you have this this is similar to a relaxer a client comes in with a relaxer same thing they have different texture a uh, different um, porosity levels and I can say wow you had three people do a relaxer on you one person did that, one person did that, one person, because I could tell the difference in the strength of the hands. And then they say, how do you know? Now, I know, okay, because of the way the hair took. But what we have now is now she wants a successful Gina curl from roots to ends. Well, this hair is going to take nice curl. That's going to take, but this isn't, and this isn't. So now I have to tell the client, you're going to have a beautiful curl, then it's going to be just wait and wait. It's going to be exactly the way it looks now, and then you're going to have another curl here. Because there's nothing I can do with this hair is already damaged. Okay? Here's another one. Look at this. Same thing. So those proteins that you're using in your hair will take the curl out. It will damage your hair. Now, if she, if Rochelle didn't come in today, and she continued, guess what? She would have got breakage here, and she would have got breakage here. And she would have said, but I have no chemical in my hair. I didn't do anything to my hair. But guess what? That protein is what did it. It's not chemical. Protein's a conditioner, right? I mean, that's what they tell us, right? So you're thinking, it's not going to break my hair. It's not going to damage my hair. But you will get breakage from it. But today, getting the Gina curl, yes, yeah, she's not going to get a successful curl from roots to ends because she doesn't want me to cut it, number one. And number two, she has different curl patterns going on here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a chemical here, a different chemical here, and a different chemical here, and I'm going to hope that she allows me to cut it. If not, I'll just bring this chemical right through the ends, okay? And we'll see what happens later. She may not get the look she wants, okay? And I'm going to show you the look that she wants because um, she has a picture of it. Um, she may not get the look she wants, but at least it'll soften up the hair so she won't get any breakage there. Because if she didn't get a Gina curl today or a straight variation... Guess what? She would have breakage right there. So here we go. This isn't so bad, but you could still see the difference. Okay, and it's probably not so bad up in here because she wasn't flat ironing or stretching it as much. So in here, not so bad. But you could still see, if you can come up here and you can see the difference here kind of looser up in here okay but now we're gonna go to the front and you can definitely see it okay guys so here we are we're gonna do the Gina curl we spent an hour talking I want to make <laughs> sure that she gets it and she understands that this first Gina curl is gonna at least help to retain this length it's not gonna break and snap off anymore and so with her here she's got line of demarcation here line of demarcation here so if she didn't get the Gina curl today she would have definitely probably down the road we like say this all grew out and her roots start, were natural from here and then now now it's down here it would have started breaking off so we're gonna get going on the Gina curl I want to show you later I will show you the picture of what she wants what's in her you know what she wants and I told her she may get it the second time around actually I, I know she's gonna get it the second time around okay so guys please stay away from protein if you're natural only use protein when you have chemical in your hair only use protein on the ends when you have dry breakage or, and those little knotty balls starting out and up yeah then use protein you want to strengthen that hair and separate those little hugs that's what I call them hair hugs um, so okay all right we'll talk to you later